very interesting subject we deal with in the book Shadows of the Beast. Remember that Saul wanted to stay king, so he tried to kill David, as the Antichrist will try to remain king, so he'll try to kill Christ, prefigured by Herod the Great, the same pattern. He wanted to stay king, so he tried to kill Jesus, the king of the Jews. Saul and Judas both typify the Antichrist. Only Judas was hung and stabbed. Saul was stabbed and hung. You always see that kind of confusion when you see something typifying the Antichrist up on Mount Kilboa on the walls of Beth Shan. I've been there many times. You can see where it was where Saul would have hung with his sons. We have to take the battle account literally that his armor bearer went before him and that he wanted to be killed by the sword of a fellow Hebrew instead of by the sword of the invader. But then his corpse was taken and it was hung on the walls of Beth Shan atop Har Gilvoa. Bearing in mind there is a deeper typology involved in that that relates to the Antichrist and that parallels Judas Iscariot. Again, I refer you to the book <laughs> Shadows of the Beast. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen. Will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo. What the scripture actually teaches about the rapture. The snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo. All available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.